Yeah, hi, I'm Ed Barry, SMUK. I'm just going to show you a non compliant DVS MOS system, moving off information system, so as that when you're doing your due diligence, you understand what needs to be working on these systems. This particular one is set up to show a non compliance. The area on the floor taped out here shows the area that needs to be detected to meet the retrofit for DVS October 2024. It's half a meter either side of the vehicle and two meters out from the very front of the vehicle. And in the detection zone, the display should indicate to the driver that when I step into that zone, the indicator should go off to say there's somebody present. If I step further in, you can see on this particular system, the display in the center of the screen hasn't gone off and detected me at all. And if this vehicle's moving at that point, I'm going to be underneath it. From a DVS perspective, this system fails on that point alone. If we were to take another look and cover the actual radar itself on the display, it should tell the driver there is an issue and that the system isn't detecting what it should. This system, again, as you can see, there's nothing on the display, doesn't do that, and therefore fails to meet the DVS for 2024. If you look on the floor, but at the two white lines on here, because this is a flat radar, the maximum detection zone is about 140, maybe 150 degrees, and therefore is non compliant with DVS. I'm now, going to show you a DVS 2024 compliant moving off information system. So, opposed to last time, where we entered the zone, it didn't pick up because it was only at 140, 150 degree detection. Because the brigade moving off system is a dual radar, it actually has a 180 degree detection zone. So when I move into the zone, it immediately picks me up. As you can see on the monitor, on the display for the vehicle, as I move across, it quite simply follows me across. On the last system, we showed that when we covered up the radar, that it didn't produce the uh, alert for the driver to say there was an issue with it. If I'm now to do that with this one, if you keep closely on the monitor, it comes up with a permanent red LED to show there's an interference or fault with the system. Therefore, again, complying with DVS 2024. The only way that you can do this to make sure as you as an operator get this right is to do your own due diligence. Have a look at these systems that are out there on the market. Follow the test procedure that we've just done to ensure that they work as the brigade moving off system. If you need any more information or help or assistance, advice or guidance, give me a call or one of my colleagues here at SMUK. I look forward to hearing from you.